When Academy curator Dave Blackburn traveled to the tiny African nation of Burundi last December, he had one thing on his mind, to find a frog that had not been seen in more than 60 years. The Bururi long-fingered frog was first seen by scientists in 1949. Since then, the country in which it was discovered has gone through some rough times. Forests in Burundi don't quite stand a chance. This is a densely populated, incredibly poor country dependent on agriculture. So the forests over time are shrinking, 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 shrinking. Little was known about the frog's habitat or biology. So Blackburn and his colleagues, led by Eli Greenbaum from the University of Texas, worked a hunch based on their knowledge of the frog's evolutionary relationships. I've worked with closely related species in Cameroon, and I know what those species sound like. So I was kind of guessing based on that. It was a long, grueling slog through the dense rainforest of Burundi. Days went by with no luck. But then, on the fifth night, Pay dirt. I was basically milling about, waiting for it to get dark, and I heard a call. I was kind of making my way over to these bushes, waiting for it to call again. Sometimes it's minutes in between. And I happened purely through serendipity to move aside some grass, and there it was, just sitting on a log, which was great. Wow! Yeah. This one tiny specimen, which is now in the Academy's collections, might help answer some big questions about the evolution and distribution of life in Africa. This one frog is important to me because it's part of a puzzle for understanding the history of Africa's mountains. 